Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Lee aka Rolling Thunder and in today's video we're going to be doing a first ride impressions of my new Furigan Luxio Evo Kevlar hoodie. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea and let us get into the video. Hello ladies and gents, how are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. And as the title of the video suggests, we are taking a first ride review look at my new to me Furigan Luxio Evo hoodie. I am currently wearing it right now, as you guys may or may not be able to see by the sleeves. And also in my rear view mirror, as you can see, I've got the lovely Furigan logo across my chest. Nope. And basically this is a first ride review of how it fits, how it feels, whether I'd recommend it and would I buy it again? So first part being, how does it fit? It fits extremely well. Normally in most motorcycle jackets or hoodies, I'm a 4XL, but this is actually a 3XL and fits me surprisingly well. Another nice feature with the Luxio hoodie is that it comes with D30 armor instead of your standard C level one stuff. So in terms of the actual flexibility and comfort, I cannot fault it. Very nice, very lightweight, very malleable, very comfortable on the shoulders and the elbows. It offers great level of support in terms of general comfort. It's got decent pockets both inside and on the outside. With this uh, particular hoodie, it has got two rather large outer pockets, which I don't really use. And it also has two fairly substantial pockets on the inside of the hoodie. One which I keep my phone in, the other one I occasionally put random bits and pieces that I'm carrying with me, like uh, my wallet or random bits of paperwork that I need for the ride out or whatever. Ah, oh, puppy. It's cutie. But generally speaking, I normally only have my phone in my inside pocket. Everything else is usually in my bag on my back. In terms of the overall fit and finish, you know, the stitch is very good. The Kevlar reinforcements in the right kind of places. The quilting on the inside of the hoodie itself, which I have shown in my B-roll footage is very nice as well. The Kevlar reinforcement is also nicely placed again in the pocket areas for the body armor and down the back of the hoodie as well. Everything sits and feels as it should. You know, it's not the lightest thing in the world, but then again, it's not the heaviest thing in the world. Very well put together. It tailors for a lot of different body types and sizes. If I remember rightly, this particular hoodie runs from extra small up to three or four XL I think it is. The one I've got on right now is a three XL whereas normally I'd be a four. The fit is really nice on the arms as well and across the shoulders. It's not offering any kind of pinching or any kind of discomfort. The neck, the neck collar, uh, well the collar on this as well is nowhere near as tight as what you'd expect. It's got a nice decent gap so you get a bit of air down your neck. So if you're one of these riders that gets hot very very quickly this will obviously help keep you nice and cool but I've also found that uh, even in the rain this does keep the rain out to a degree as well which is always nice would I recommend this to a friend or a family member who rides 100% yes in the weather that we've had recently both in the sunshine and when it's not so sunny I definitely 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 would recommend it it's comfortable it's lightweight it's not too bulky you don't get too hot in it either which is one of the things that I found with uh, normal motorcycle jackets that I myself get quite hot and bothered fairly quickly and I'd rather not uh, sweat my balls off which is why I chose to go with the Kevlar hoodie over a proper textile jacket. Now bearing in mind this style of jacket isn't for everyone. I have recently recommended something similar made by Alpine Stars to one of my friend's brothers who's literally passing his test this week and I believe he's looking to get a Ducati V2 Street Fighter as his first bike and uh, you know good luck to him I personally wouldn't have gone with the V2 as a first bike but I've been riding for nearly 20 years and I believe uh, the, 
uh, this mate of mine's brother recently turned 40 so in the fact that he's gone for a v2 street fighter as his first bike and not a, a panagale v4 or a uh, Fireblade or an R1 like most people his age would do he's actually opted to do something a bit more sensible and go for a street fighter instead so that he can get a feel for the road not go too mad and hopefully with any luck slowly progress onto something bigger and better on the whole would I recommend something like this for a friend or family member I most certainly would. Excuse me one minute ladies and gents while I get some fuel. One moment. 12 seconds later. Would I recommend this hoodie to a friend, family member or just general member of, uh, member of the public? Honestly, yes I would. And you're probably gonna ask me why would I recommend this hoodie to a friend or family member or member of the public? The reason why I would recommend this to anyone other than myself is because it's just so functional. You know, okay, it doesn't have a warproof membrane or warproof liner or anything like that however and i lose i use the term loosely however if you were to get caught out in a little bit of a shower the hoodie would not allow you to get soaking wet straight away that doesn't mean to say that you can go out in a, in a uh, torrential downpour and be dry because you won't let me make that perfectly clear if you were caught in a massive massive downpour like we had the other day you would not be dry there was absolutely no way on God's green earth you would be dry after that. But in a light shower, or a little bit of drizzle, you'll be absolutely fine. Would I buy this again? 100%. There is no question in my mind that if this came up again to be bought as a replacement from what I'm currently wearing, which is the same thing, I would, without a shadow of a doubt, buy it again. I really would. And I know I've said before in the past that I'm a big Alpine Stars fan, and a big Dionysi fan, but this Furigan Luxio Evo hoodie has sort of changed my mind a little bit and that's in the fact that there are other brands out there that are equally as comfortable and equally as proficient in terms of what they do and what they offer and the fact that the the Furigan hoodie itself the armor sits in the perfect place in the shoulders and in the forearms no issues whatsoever no uncomfortability it has a pocket for a back protector should I want to use it and generally speaking I can't ask for better and don't get me wrong these aren't cheap but on the flip side to that you get a quality product and i'm not gonna lie and tell you that it's not it's cheap and nasty and everything else if it's not and i kid you not ladies and gentlemen this kevlar hoodie has probably got to be the most comfortable piece of motorcycle equipment other than my rx7 that i currently own and that's a very big statement for me to say that because normally when it comes to motorcycle equipment Apart from helmets, I'm not comfortable with anything. I'd always find something wrong with a garment or a jacket or a trouser or a pair of boots that I didn't like the fit, feel or finish of. But with this, absolutely no, no questions. No problems, no issues, and I couldn't be happier. I would have to say that uh, if I was given the opportunity to buy this again or buy something similar, I definitely would. Would I recommend the Furigan Luxio Evo Kevlar hoodie to someone else? or to anyone for that matter the answer is without a shadow of a doubt a resounding yes okay it may not be the cheapest thing on the market but it's not the most expensive thing on the market either believe it or not there are Kevlar hoodies on the market that are probably one half times maybe two times as expensive as this there are Dionysi, Alpine Stars, Risha you know there's loads of other brands that have attempted to do Kevlar hoodies. Some have worked very, very well. Some haven't worked so well. But either way, regardless of as you look at it, of all the brands that I've tried in the past, I would have to say that the Furigan Luxio Evo Kevlar hoodie is probably one of the most comfortable pieces of motorcycle equipment I've ever owned in my almost 20 year career of riding. And yes, I most definitely would recommend it to someone else. I would have to say, the only real gripe with this, when you start pushing on a little bit, as they say in the business the hoodie does have a tendency to rise a little bit that however can be counteracted by the belt loops that are pre-installed on the hoodie there's just two small snaps at the base of the uh, the jacket which you may or may not have seen in my b-roll footage with the little addition of the belt loops which is very very nice it does obviously help keep the, um, the hoodie from riding up I personally haven't used the belt loops as yet 
because nine times out of ten I am wearing a rucksack. I do have to occasionally pull the back of it down, which isn't a huge problem. But it's nice that uh, Fury Gun have added that little feature. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So that should you be the sort of person that. Uh, Go on, son, you'll get there eventually. So if you happen to be the sort of person that uh, does ride in a Kevlar hoodie near enough all the time, and you need something that can, you know, stay in, in contact with you, shall we say, then uh, this hoodie may be the one for you. And I was lucky enough to be able to get this through my work, but you can obviously buy it online and other reputable retailers. But definitely, definitely, if you're in the market for something that's lightweight, easy to use, easy to wear, then this may be the uh, jacket stroke hoodie stroke fleece for you. And I can honestly say, without too many, you know, biased opinions, this hoodie is definitely right up there. Most certainly, I would recommend this hoodie for anyone that's riding anything from a 50cc moped all the way up to, say, an R1, as you can see. But generally speaking, the fit, finish and feel, you know, I, I haven't found anything that comes close to it yet. The season has only just started, so you never know. We might come across something a bit better later in the year. Or maybe not, we never know. And I can honestly say, like I've already said, and I probably have said multiple times already, that I would quite happily buy this hoodie all over again, in the same size, in the same colour, because it just looks smart. Do you know what I mean? It just looks good, it fits well. It's got a decent array of pockets. It's got a pocket for a back protector, should you want one. On a scale of one to 10, how does the uh, the Furigan Luxio hoodie stack up? In terms of fit, I'd have to give it a eight out of 10. In terms of comfort, I'd have to give it a full 10, if I'm honest. In terms of the armor placement and the level of armor that you get, you can't really get much better than uh, D30, which is uh, CE level two, if I remember rightly. So again, 10 out of 10 for that. Value for money, I'd have to give it, unfortunately, probably a seven, maybe eight out of 10. That's just because I'm being an absolute tightwad. Because like I said, I think I paid about 200 quid for this, or it goes for about 200 pounds. And obviously you can pick them up second hand and whatever else, but generally speaking, around the 200 pound mark is a good enough kind of price point for a Kevlar hoodie of this quality. Would I give it a 10 out of 10 for everything across the board? No, I wouldn't. I think the only thing that lets this down a little bit is the weight. I think if it was a little bit lighter, or made of a slightly lighter material, not necessarily mesh, but something close to it, I think it would be all right. Would I recommend it to a, to a friend or a colleague? Yes, definitely 10 out of 10. Would I buy it again? Again, definitely 10 out of 10. I think this, uh, as a product, this hoodie is very, very good. And it does tick a lot of boxes for a lot of people. And as always, ladies and gents, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Your continued support is greatly appreciated, as you guys know. And if you've got any questions about the, uh, the Furigan Luxio Evo hoodie, the R1 or any of the gear I use feel free to drop it in the comments box down below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I possibly can and as always if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing it'd be great to have you on board and if you are already subscribed don't forget to smash the like button ring the bell so you're kept up to date with all new content when it drops so in summary ladies and gents overall score for the Furigan Luxio Evo hoodie N size 3XL my overall score today is 9 out of 10. Like I've already said, apart from those one or two little niggly bits that I've already mentioned, I cannot fault this hoodie at all. It's comfortable, it's functional, it looks cool. It's not stupidly expensive. And it just works, do you know what I mean? It just bloody works. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you guys have been awesome as always. I have been Lee aka Rolling Fonda, saying look after yourselves, look after each other, stay safe on the roads, be aware of COVID-19, be safe, be happy, and as always, adios!